Hey guys, it's Lauren from It's The Kellys and today I'm doing a highly requested video for you. I'm going to be comparing all three of the base backpacks that I own so that you guys can see the differences between all of them. Base has had a lot of things out of stock recently, but they said in the new year they will be restocking the expandable backpack and hopefully some of the other things. So I figured this would be the perfect timing to bring out my comparison video of all three in case you wanted to buy one once they all become available. Now I did ask in my community page a few weeks ago the questions that you guys had about the base backpacks. And what was really interesting is there wasn't a single question about either of the backpacks in particular themselves, but just more so of overall backpack questions as personal items, or which backpack would be best used for which activity. And I'm going to give it all to you today. I'm going to introduce all three of the backpacks. I'm not gonna get quite deep into the reviews because I have reviewed every single one of them on this channel. I will link all of the individual reviews down below that I did. So if you want a more in-depth look into any of these bags, go to the description box, click on the link, and watch those videos. Now, with that being said, if there is a feature on the bag that I think really sets it apart from the other bags, I will be sharing that, of course. We're also going to look at the size differences as well as what bag is best used for what activity. And if you're new here, I'm Lauren from It's The Kellys and I travel often and pack well. I've been to 84 countries, seven continents, and I'm gonna keep going, but I do it all in a carry-on suitcase and I want to help you travel often and pack well also. So that is what this channel is about to prepare you for the best trips of your life and complete that bucket list. Let's do it together. So let's introduce these backpacks. Contestant number one is the backpack. The backpack is what it is called on the website. It retails for $78 and it comes in two different colors. This is the backpack out of all three that I have used the most. Contestant number two is the expandable backpack, which came out a few months ago when Base had their recycled collection, and then it's been sold out ever since. It is coming back. Hopefully it stays around for a while because people are obsessed with this backpack. And I don't know if it's just because it's the only expandable backpack that Base makes or what, but people have been dying to get this backpack back. This one retails for $88. I haven't traveled with it, but I have used it a lot, and I'll get into that just a little bit later. Last but not least is contestant number three. It is the cargo backpack from the Base Air Collection, and this is my newest base item, so I haven't used it at all yet. I'm gonna be completely honest. This one retails for $98, and it has just a ton of space in it. It is a top loader, it doesn't have any zippers, it does have this little buckle. We'll get into all the features in just a little bit. So let's look at them all side by side and you can see the difference. This I don't know how I'm gonna do this, I guess like this. Hi, I'm up here. So height difference, you can see that the backpack is the tallest one. And you guys, I can say that all three of these are going to be absolutely perfect as a personal item. They are all going to fit airline regulations. They are all going to fit under the seat in front of you where you need to place your personal items. You can't go wrong with any one of these if you want to use it on an airplane. Now the interesting thing is that all of these bags are exactly 13 inches across, so they are all the same width-wise, okay? This one looks kind of a little fatter, but it is 13 inches across. As for the depth, these two are the same, 
but this one does expand and can expand kind of a little bit more. So do keep that in mind. I'm literally juggling all of these right now. And then this one is the deepest at 8.5 inches. This bag can definitely really hold a lot and it's a super interesting contender in this base backpack game that we're playing today. So now every single bag does have a laptop sleeve and every single bag has organization inside and organization outside. They also all have a pass through on the back that you can easily slip on to your luggage. So they are all going to be great when it comes to a companion with your carry on luggage to stay hands free at the airport. They do all also have a outside pocket for a water bottle. You've got two on this one. You've got two on this one. And this one actually is concealed and pops out right here for your water bottle but if you don't need it you can just stuff it right back inside now let me kind of talk about each one individually because this is getting really crowded here so let's start with contestant number one why are you best for everybody hmm i'll answer that for you and the answer is right here Clamshell opening, baby. Check that out. I am obsessed with clamshell openings. It is really great because I can just put it down right here, pack all my stuff. It has a little compression and then it has two pockets. One is mesh and one is this kind of rubbery, almost waterproof one right here. I have used this bag as a personal item for every single trip that I took this year. I got it about a year ago. So even including my trip last December, I took it as a personal item. I still even have some masks in here. So you can tell I was traveling during the pandemic with this bag. I do have to say, if you guys saw one of my videos about a month ago, this bag did break on me in my trip in november the zipper kind of just busted open you know how sometimes it's zipped up and then even though the zipper thing is over here the seam can just completely open up and then your backpack breaks obviously i was able to kind of fix it a little bit but it did break and i was so worried that i was going to have to replace my backpack in the middle of the trip and that was not good Am I saying that you shouldn't get this backpack? No, please get this backpack. So now this bag is a little bit smaller than the backpack that I just showed, but I would use this as a little day pack. You know, if you're on a cruise ship and you're getting off and going on your excursion, or maybe you're on a little bus tour for the day, a little day trip, a little hike, that's what I would use this for. Now I haven't traveled with this one technically, but I have used it as a daily backpack for a little bit. And the fact that this one expands is great. Now, when we do unzip it, it does unzip all the way down and you think it's going to be a clamshell opening, but it does still open up pretty wide and it has two little pockets here. It does have the same two pockets from in the backpack. It's got the mesh and then it's got the see-through part in through here. And then of course it does have the expansion so that it has more space. This is, it looks pretty big and everything. And I think it looks big because of the material. So this one does have this little metal buckle and it cinches on top. So it doesn't actually zip or anything like that. So it does open up and look at how big this gets. It's really awesome. If you guys didn't see my review on here, you know I stuffed this with so much stuff and I was shocked. I thought for sure that this wasn't gonna fit a lot, but it fit a lot. A lot of you guys have asked what is the fabric like and how durable is it going to be since it's a little bit puffy and I can't necessarily answer that for you because 
I'm not going to try to ruin it. I don't want to go take a knife and slash it. I don't want to scratch it up against a whole bunch of things. But I am looking out in reviews and comments that people leave, whether it be on the base website or the base Instagram, to see what they say about it. And I haven't seen anything yet. But if I do see something, I will update you guys on this channel for sure. Maybe if you're a mom and you need all of these other little pockets, um, you need a little bit more space because you're carrying something for you and your child. I know that was one of the questions that was asked in the community page. This one could probably be a really great backpack for you for that because it is so spacious. So let's get all of these right back up here. That's kind of the comparison that I have for you guys, really. I just wanted to talk about each bag individually and then show you all of them up against each other. So comment down below and let me know which one you are most interested in. And now that you've seen this video, if you have any specific questions about any of the bags or what do you think about this bag versus this bag when I am this type of traveler, then please comment down below and I will for sure answer it because I want to help you make the best decision. I can't make this decision for you. You have to make it for yourself and you can't go wrong with any one of them because they are all great. Like I said, $78, $88, $98. So if the price is a factor for you, then you know, this one is a great bag and it's the cheapest and it's the biggest. So you really can't go wrong with this one, especially if you want to travel with it. So I'm going to say my number one vote is probably this one. If you're looking to travel with something, my number two vote is probably going to be this one. And then this one would be my number three. But this one is probably going to be my favorite for a day pack because it can pack so flat in the bottom of your suitcase that why not bring this as a personal item and then bring this as a day pack if you want to. I don't know. The choices are endless, you guys. So let me know what you get. I'm going to take these off my table now because it's taking up a lot. Ooh, look at how tiny they get. This is going to be good for storage. Let me know what you guys end up getting. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. Hopefully the expandable backpack and the cargo backpack in Maple come back in stock soon so that you guys can get them. If you do score one, let me know down below in the comments because I want to know. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.